Hi friends and welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today is the Just Our Imagination Challenge. I'll let you know more about that in a few minutes. But first of all, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda. This is my precious Oliver. And if you're returning, you know we love you. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here's DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm gonna use this 16 by 20 stretch canvas. I got this at Dollar Tree. I think it comes in a two pack for $5. But I started off by taking my box cutter here and I'm just gonna rip off the back side. I'm gonna cut it and then rip off the back side of the canvas because I'm not gonna be using the canvas for this project. And once I had all of the back part cut off then I just pulled it off and in the front it has staples along the corners I just went ahead and took them out I felt like the staples they had all along the back was probably good enough to keep it together and then I took my antique wax and I'm just going to brush it on and wipe it off with a paper towel and I do this all around the front and the sides of this frame after it was all done I laid out four of the uh, wood craft sign thingies from Dollar Tree. I traced out where that frame was gonna be and then I one of these I needed to cut. So I'm just taking my ruler here and a pencil and I measured where I needed to cut it and then I'm using my box knife to score it and cut it. And I will not lie, this was not easy. It was freezing cold outside and I didn't wanna walk out to our a miter saw plus I wanted you to be able to see that it can be done if you don't have a miter saw but I will warn you it is not very easy and my arm was very tired <laughs> from doing it plus I helped my husband get our totes up in the attic our Christmas totes so yeah it was I was getting pretty tired so I did kind of sand off all the x the uh, edges of those and then I laid them out and I placed these giant craft sticks from Walmart um, I'm doing them in a not layer, but as you can see, zigzag pattern there to make sure that they're all covering um, each one of those boards because uh, the boards are longer than my sticks. So <laughs> once I was done with that, I used some painter's tape to tape it off. And then I painted a couple of the boards with that, I think it's apothecary DIY paint, and then with the rest with my uh, wax. I took one of these brass metal hoops that come from Dollar Tree. This is the medium size and I'm taking some of this ribbon from Dollar Tree and using my Beacon Fabri-Tac glue to glue that um, hoop around the front of the frame. Then I'm taking my wood glue and hot glue. I'm going all the way back <laughs> around the back side of the frame with my wood glue and hot glue and then I'm going to turn it around and attach it to my painted boards that I have there. And you guys, I absolutely love how this came out. I'm gonna hang this up in my living room. I've been wanting to do something like this for a while and I finally decided this was the time to do it. So I used some little hot glue there to just tack down the front of that ribbon and then I'm just gonna kinda tack that ribbon to that metal uh, hoop to keep it straight or, or keep it from moving. Then I took this home uh, word that came from Dollar Tree and I'm taking some more of that apothecary um, paint and I'm just going over that word and then I, once it was dry I took my antique wax and I'm going to do some distressing now if you don't like distressing you can skip this part I love distressing and I love the look that it gives it gives it some extra character so I just went around all the edges and then once that was dry I took my wood glue and I'm going to take hot glue and I'm going to glue this to the middle of my just like that. Then I took some of this eucalyptus. I got this from Dollar Tree a month or two ago and I cut four pieces out and I'm going to attach two with some floral wire and then I'm going to I had that floral wire extra long because I'm going to go around and I'm going to attach the third one going the opposite direction and then I'll attach the fourth one with that wire as well after that I hot glued that in place on the bottom of my hoop and then I took some more wire and I'm just going to attach the uh, eucalyptus to that wire and then just kind of hide it underneath those leaves 
Then I took this ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm making a bow, doing the awareness ribbon, scrunching it up in the middle, and then I'm gonna use some jute twine to keep it secure, just like you see. And then I'm gonna dovetail the ends by folding them and cutting them at an angle. And then I'm just gonna hot glue it to the top, or no, to the bottom with those, uh, those eucalyptus. Then I took one of these off of a sign recently when I was making something and I decided to go ahead and use it and I'm making sure it's centered and then I'm just gonna hammer it in place super, super easy. And that's all there was for it. I cannot wait to hang this up. I It's gonna look great in my house because of our green bookshelves that we have. It's gonna fit perfectly. <laughs> Anyways, I love it. I hope you do too. Let me know in the comment box below what you think about DIY number one. Okay, today is the Just Our Imagination Challenge, and I hosted along with my best friend, Kathy Jo, with Kathy Jo DIY on the second Sunday of every month. This month's guest host is Loli with Loli D's Creations, and we have to take three must-use items, and we all have to use them in our DIYs. Last month, uh, we picked Loli as the winner of the way she used her must use items. These are a couple of the items that she made and they were so cute and we loved them. And so make sure you check out her channel and make sure you check out the playlist. <laughs> okay, here's DIY and number two. And check out Kathy Jo too. If you haven't checked her out, you'll love her. Okay, so I'm gonna take some um, Mod Podge. I mean, I got this charger when it was on clearance at Hobby Lobby after Christmas, it was 75% off. I covered the front with Mod Podge and let it dry. And I'm taking this napkin that uh, Kathy Jo had sent me. I just loved it, I thought it was so beautiful. I tore the back part off of it. And then I took these acorn dowel caps from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna paint those with my plaster. Now, a quick story on that charger. I was gonna use it for another DIY previously and it didn't work out and it ripped up all the coating on that charger and so I painted it with my plaster and it must be the exact same color they use because you can't tell the difference. So I um, added my napkin here. Now I did this kind of wonky. I wish I would have um, measured the inside of this charger on the back side of it and then cut my napkin out because this was a mess. So after I used my heat gun or a heat press to attach that napkin, I covered it again with Mod Podge. Then I decided to use my uh, lighter method and this, no, this did not work because it, not only it was leaving a little bit of burn marks, but it was like leaving some of the dye from the napkin on it. So I'm like, okay, this isn't working. So I take my scissors and I try to trim it off as much as I can. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna try and sand the edges off. And then it was just sanding off that paint, which shouldn't have surprised me because it happened on that previous project that I tried. So I sanded as much off as I could and then went over it again with my plaster. And then I took some of this um, Elephant by Waverly and I just did some uh, strokes along it to just kind of help it look like it did before and I think it came out looking pretty good. <laughs> so then I took some of this um, braided jute twine that I get from Amazon. It's not available at the moment. I hope it comes available soon because I'm almost out and I'm just going to go around the inside of this charger just to kind of help cover those rough edges um, from that disaster that I did with the fire. <laughs> Anyways, and um, after I have this all hot glued on, I'm going to take my tight bond quick and thick multi-purpose glue, and I'm just going to glue on those little dowel caps for feet so that you, I have a little riser. And I, I left this overnight so that that glue could dry. And I, you guys, I love how this came out. It is so pretty. That napkin is just gorgeous. Thank you, Kathy Joe, for sending me that. I loved it. And there it is. You'll have to let me know what you think about this one as well in the comment box below. Okay, I always like to take this moment to thank all my subscribers. You guys are just awesome and you mean the world to me. And if you're new here and you enjoyed today's video, I invite you to hit that red subscribe button, become part of our YouTube family, and then make sure you guys give me that thumbs up, comment, watch those ads, all that stuff that really does help support my channel. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find the links to my social media accounts in the description box below. 
Okay, here's DIY and number three. So our must use items is caulk, dowels, and twine. And it kind of stumped me for a while. I really had to think about what did I want to make with these three items. And finally something came to me. So I had these molds that I got from Amazon a, a while ago and I was wondering, can you use caulking inside a mold kind of like you would clay? And since these are not very expensive molds, I thought I'm gonna give it a try. So I cut the tip off of my caulking here and I just started adding it to my molds. And as I'm um, filling it up, once I had, uh, quite a bit in there then I just used my finger to make sure there was no air pockets and just kind of make the back smooth and then I let that dry um, probably close to 24 hours while I was done with that <laughs> I took this round from Dollar Tree it's a 12 inch round I painted it with my snow white I am going to draw a line down the middle and then I am going to use my antique wax to kind of do some distressing um, I'm just going to distress it and then I'm going to take a baby wipe and I'm going to just rub over it to kind of smear it. I didn't want the real rough look. I just wanted it to be more muted like that. And I'm going to add a little bit more because I wasn't happy with the way it looked yet. And then I just kept doing that until I was happy with the way it looked. And then after that, I took my Fabri-Tac glue bottle here and I am going to draw out a flower. So I thought, okay, this is about the size of the middle of the flower that I wanted. So I did that and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna make the petals. So I used that same bottle and I didn't go all the way around. I just made it almost like a three quarters of a circle. And then um, I went too long there, so I was erasing it. And then I just went and I drew out a stem and then tried to dry out, draw out some leaves. I was having a heck of a time drawing the one on the left. I don't know why. And then I used my caulking to trace over the flora, florals, flowers, <laughs> oh my goodness, the flower. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Okay, um, and then after I had the middle done, I like, hmm, okay, I think I'm liking this. I think this might work. So I just continued to go over the whole thing and then I was like oh I don't want to go over that middle part and I got really close <laughs> I think I was right on the line but anyways I finished that up and then I took my finger and dipped it in some water and just kind of smoothed the top part of it out so we had a smoother texture but I did not want this to look perfect by any means because I just um I wanted it to just kind of look farmhouse ish I guess you know you know I love farmhouse so so then then I let that dry and the next day I came in and I pulled these out and they came right out of my mold they didn't leave any residue or anything in there but I did have to trim off all that little excess um I probably I might try this on my I IOD mold I'm kind of scared too but I probably will because it really did uh, work pretty well. I was really pleased. So if you don't can't afford IOD molds, um, or if you can't afford board clay, this would be a great way to get that same kind of look. So I'm taking that apothecary uh, color again by DIY paint, and I am just painting the right side of my sign. And then I'm using that same color to paint the petals of my flowers. You guys, I love how this came out. It, it oh, I just tell you, I just love it. I just think it's so beautiful. I might have to hang it in my house too. <laughs> and then I took my antique green by Folk Art. This is chalk paint. And I took a small brush and went over the leaves in the stem and then I painted the inside of it. Now, as I was doing this, I'm like, oh, I should have done the outside of the leaves with this gold color, but that's okay. I fix, I kind of do something with that. So I took my metallic gold I think this is by Americana and I just went over around the edge of the flower just like you see and then did the same thing in the middle and then I'm going to use my finger to just lightly go over the um, the leaves and the stem that some of the green paint was still wet so I was having to wipe my finger there but anyways once it was all done and dry I took this decal I got this off of Cricut Design Space and I'm just adding it to the front it did have leaves that I was able to 
remove from the decal because I wanted to use this little piece that I created. I painted it with my gold and then I'm just using my tight bond quick and thick glue and hot glue. I almost glued it upside down <laughs> and then I just glued it underneath it. And then I decided to take some of this twine that I get from Amazon. It is in my Amazon store. It's kind of got a braided look to it. And I'm just going to hot glue it all the way around my wood round here. It just kind of gives it a finished look. And I just felt like that color just brought the gold and the tan and the words all together. Then I took some of this burlap uh, ribbon. I don't know where I got this. I don't know if it was Walmart or... Um, Dollar Tree and then the green ribbon I just recently got from Hobby Lobby. I needed something that was close to that color um, and I'm just making a bow and I just like you saw I just glued the ends together and then I'm scrunching them up in the middle. I didn't want tails because I didn't want it to hang down and I tied twine around it and then hot glued it to the front and then I'm adding a hanger. You guys those holes that they created are so off. One is higher than the other. I was like, oh my goodness, this is really off. This one's really low. Um, anyways, I had to use my pliers and some tape there to pull it through the hole, but then I just tied knots and there it is. Look how cute that is and how fun to use that caulking to make something like that. I'm excited to try and do more stuff with it. Um, yeah, but you have to let me know what you think about this one in the comment box below. Okay, it is a time for a celebration of your recreations. And Cindy made these adorable Valentine's Day DIYs. I love them. They are so cute. And then Lynette, these were so pretty. I love your little snowman and your wreath. Oh, girl, that's so pretty. And then beautiful Constance, she recreated my tag sign and I love it. Thank you, ladies. And if you have a creation or a recreation that you would like me to showcase for you, you can send pictures to my email address that's listed there, or you can send them to me through Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Okay, here is the fourth and final DIY. So I took this strawberry lemonade container that I had in my stash. I'm removing the lid, removing the little green spot there, or plastic piece there. And then I'm going to remove the labels. Now I did use my heat gun and I was I knew I didn't want to leave it on there too long because I didn't want it to warp it. But as you can see, it started warping a little bit. So if you do that, you want to just, you don't have to have it on there for very long at all. Because the front, I barely had it on and I didn't dent it. But anyways, I'm taking some more of that twine and I'm just hot gluing it around the bottom. And I, I did hot glue it the whole way around because I wanted to give it a good strong base. And then I started wrapping and I would just hot glue, I think around the corners. And I did that about four times. And then I just started wrapping and I didn't need to hot glue anymore. Once in a while, I would add a little hot glue there if I felt like there was, it was a gap. But then after that, I, um, I just, when I got to the corner here, I just started wrapping uh, hot gluing it and then kept wrapping and I just kept hot gluing and wrapping as needed until I got to the very top which will be right there and then I just hot glued the, it to hot glued the end to it whatever I don't know what I'm saying you guys oh my goodness <sighs> okay <laughs> so once I was done with that I took some more twine and I just cutting and I didn't measure I just kind of folded it to see the size of the loop that I liked and then I cut six I think six of them down and then I'm just going to hot glue them in place just like you see me doing I just kind of folded them in half and hot glued them I cut five but then I end up adding two more so I have seven spots there then I added a half bead to the middle and then I went around and hot glued a little bit of that twine around um, the middle around that half bead and then I took these uh pearl looking beads from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue those around that half bead and then I'm going to take some more of this twine. Now this twine I think I actually got from Timu but you could use this stuff from Dollar Tree and I'm making a stem with it and then I'm just kind of tacking it down with some hot glue and then I'm going to make some leaves with it as well and I'm just going to do it the same way as I did the um, the petals on the flower but I'm just making them a little smaller and then I did cut a little piece and hot glue it a straight piece and hot glue it in the middle I took some of this ribbon this I got from Amazon I believe it is in my Amazon store 
and I'm just going to hot glue a piece of it around the top part and then I took some more of those pearl beads and I went there's like the little loops on the top and bottom of that ribbon and I'm just kind of going every second hole I hot glued some of those on then I decided you know I wanted that stem to kind of stick out more because it really blended and so I'm just going over it with some of that antique green and then I went over the flower with my uh, plaster and I love this so then I'm making a flower so I took these little round wood pieces there from Hobby Lobby they come in a pack of stuff and I took my strings here and I folded them just like I did with the other flower and I put them all around the wood piece and then I added some smaller parts inside of the bigger loop hoops loop loops oh my goodness I can't talk tonight as you can see I added another half bead I took this uh dowel came from Dollar Tree and I wrapped it about about halfway and then I glued that flower to it then I took some burlap here and this little teardrop came from the same bag of wood pieces that came from Hobby Lobby as the little round wood pieces that I used for the flowers and I cut out some petal looking uh burlap and then I took some of this twine from Dollar Tree I got this in the summer and I'm just gonna hot glue it the twine all the way around the edge of the burlap to make it look like a pretty twine and burlap flower <laughs> once I had those pieces done I just started hot gluing them I think there were six of them um, around that wood piece just like you see and then I just took one of those pearl looking beads and glued it to the middle and I took another smaller dowel that came from Walmart and I uh, added some twine to it and then I glued that flower to it the bigger flower here I added some green leaves to it, but you can't really see it <clears throat> but anyways there it is they are so so cute I love them you have to let me know what you think about this one as well and if you think you'll try making some twine flowers um it's pretty fun anyways so final reveal is coming right up you guys thank you so much for your patience I'm sorry I missed out on Thursday um but I am glad I had this video done for you today and I am can't wait to see what everybody creates with their must use items so make sure you check out Kathy Joe's channel and Loli's channel and make sure you check out the playlist I'm sure you'll have lots of fun seeing what everybody comes up with I will be back again on um I, I have a collaboration on Friday I'm going to try and have a video either Tuesday or Wednesday before that so have those notifications bell set and with all that being said you guys I hope you have a blessed rest of your weekend stay safe and warm and I will see you on the next one bye bye